Residents of Ogun State say that the federal government is insensitive to the plight of Nigerians following the proposed ban on animal skin, popularly known as Momo. The residents made their concerns known through a survey conducted by a correspondent, Habibat Ajayi, who visited food canteens within Abiyokuta, the Ogun State capital. Adela Buadeshola is a businesswoman. She claims that her customers demand Pomo more than the normal meat, lamenting that an average Nigerian is left with no other option than Pomo. She appealed to the federal government to provide alternatives for the average Nigerian. That is, that is wrong because people love to eat Pomo too much. Like in my canteen here, I sell Pomo more than meat because people love to eat it. It is fatless. If they should ban it, it's going to affect so many things. There are so many people in the market who sell Pomo, especially they come from Ijebu. Well, which business will they venture into if they should ban Pomo? So the federal government should please look into that. Because Things are so much expensive, and because of that, so, uh, so many people prefer when they have little money, they can easily buy Pomo with little money and prepare food for their family. But when they ban Pomo, I don't know which other products they can use that little money to buy. Uh, I will feel bad because one of my favorite uh, delicacies is uh, Pomo. So, uh, medically or nutritionally, they said. The nutritionists argue that Pomo has no nutritional values. But despite that, I cherish Pomo, I like it. I, whenever I see it, I buy it. If in all my, all of my food, I put Pomo. I want to put a vegetable soup or anything, I will ask for Pomo. And if it is banned, I don't know how I'm going to feel it. A cross-section of respondents also advise the government at all levels and critical stakeholders to concentrate more on other crucial issues affecting the economy of the country. I may agree with them that it might not have its nutritional value. Looking at the economical value, I think it should not be banned because the common man uh, cooks momo every day. They eat momo every day. Meat is too expensive in the market. Chicken is expensive. All other protein, they are very expensive. And if you look at it, Momo adds like it's, it's like a it's like something people will fall back to when they want to cook. In the government to come up with that um, proposal to ban uh, Momo for me is an insensitive and uh, it's just an issue that the the government is is trying to lay his hand on trying to. Um, cover up for, for other issues that are jamming into the Nigerian economy. But, but more to an, an average Nigeria is just something that you, you, you just want to live by and not just what you feel like eating in the first place. So Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.